for a man to express the divine masculine. There has to be an openness to it, a turning towards the headwaters of his own soul. I read a most enjoyable book, um, actually listened to it on tape recently on Muhammad, and it told the story of his awakening. Just like in Christianity, there's a lot that's gone wrong in the religious history of Christianity. There's a lot that's gone wrong in the history of Islam. But at the origin of it was this experience by Muhammad. And when he was, in his, when he was about 40, he took an annual retreat to a cave. And on one of these retreats, he was possessed. And he thought it was a genie or a jinn. You know, the genie and the lamp. That's all part of Arab culture. He thought it must have been a genie. This spirit hugged him, squeezed him, and told him to recite. He said, recite, and told him what to recite. He went home not knowing what to make of the experience and talked to his wife and talked to a Christian friend. A fr I think it was a friend of his wife, actually. And they sorted out that it was the Archangel Gabriel who had come to him. Anyway, the story goes that he went back to the cave and had more experiences. And he did recite as he was commanded to do. And what he recited became the Quran. And the word Quran is from that word recite. It means the recitation. That was what he was told to say. He didn't write it down because he didn't read or write. What I'm getting to is that he was expressing something that came from a place that transcended his human personality, his own sense of himself as a man, an average Joe. He opened up to something and expressed something from a place that was beyond all that. And he was the messenger of that. He brought that into the world. <clears throat> 